Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison video with two very highly rated and high-end ratcheting screwdrivers. We have the Snap-on standard hard-handled version, and also the Mega Pro automotive version. And if you're looking at a high-end unit, then you probably settled on one of these, but you don't know what the major differences would be. And looking at them online, although people really do like them, I have not personally seen any side-by-side -side comparisons. So after Mega Pro sent me the automotive ratcheting one to check out, I went ahead and bought one of the Snap-on units so we can test them side by side. In this video, we're going to go over exactly what the differences are. We'll see if something might really stand out to you as being a benefit versus a negative, and you'll be able to make the best decision. Now along with that, if you've used either one of these, or maybe you own either one, would you recommend it to somebody else, and would you buy it again? More importantly, have you had any problems with it? Leave a comment below this video and let people know what your experience has been. Here's a closer look at both screwdrivers side by side, and you can see the dimensions are going to be very similar. The Snap One comes in slightly shorter, at exactly 9 inches long, and the Mega Pro is coming in at a quarter inch longer than that, at 9 and 1 quarter inches long. Now, at their widest point, the Mega Pro is going to be 1 and a half inches, and the Snap One will be slightly wider, coming in at 1 and 5 eighth inches. Now along with that, the Snap One's going to weigh a little bit less. It comes in at just under 8 ounces with the 5 bits included, and the Mega Pro with its 12 bits included comes in at just over 9 ounces. One of the major differences between the two screwdrivers will be the bit storage as well as the number of bits included. The Snap One comes with 5 bits in the handle, and you can see it does have a removable end cap with a small O-ring to lock out shop fluids. Now the Mega Pro is going to have something that will actually slide into the bottom, and that will allow you to have a lot more bits. It will allow for 12 bits, which are included, or you can swap those out with any standard quarter inch hex versions. Now this comes with Torx, a square drive, Phillips, and flat heads, where the Snap One is coming with three Phillips and then two flat heads. The grip on each unit will be completely different, not only with its shape and size, but also its construction. The Snap-on has four distinct sides and it's made completely out of plastic, where the Mega Pro features a round design with a two-piece construction. The red portion on this is a hard plastic, but the black portion is going to be a softer rubber overmold. Both units feature three possible positions and you'll adjust that by rotating this collar on the front. All the way in one direction will be in reverse, all the way in the opposite direction will be in forward, and then the center position is actually a lock, so you can use it as a non-ratcheting screwdriver. The shaft on each unit is made out of stainless steel, and if we notice, the Mega Pro is completely smooth from one end to the other. The Snap-on does have an upgraded design with knurling about halfway down, and that textured surface will give you something to grip onto if, let's say, this is covered in oil or other shop chemicals. Both of these have a magnet in the end, which will hold the quarter inch bits in place, and as you're using it, you don't have to worry about them popping out. But there's no collar to pull back to release that. You'll just simply grab onto the bit, you can remove them very easily, and because they're both using standard quarter inch hex bits, whether you use the ones that come along with the screwdriver, or you buy replacements, they're going to work exactly the same way. The ratcheting mechanism with each screwdriver will be different, and they also have different tooth counts. The Snap One is going to have less teeth, coming in at 26 possible positions in one rotation. Then the Mega Pro has two additional teeth, coming in with 28 possible positions. Taking a look at how much movement there is between the shaft and the bit, we'll go ahead and move the one on the left, which is the Snap One first, and you can see that there is some play there. Where the shaft of the screwdriver meets the ratcheting mechanism, that's also going to have a little bit of play. And if I just move the shaft back and forth, you can see that it is going to move independently of the handle. It's going to be pretty much identical with the Mega Pro. The bits do not lock in and not move, like let's say the Cobalt Quick Lock screwdrivers. These do have some movement, so you do want to keep that in mind when you're considering either one. And the same is going to be true with the Mega Pro. You can see that I can easily move that back and forth, and there is some movement where the shaft meets the handle. As far as cost goes, there will be a huge difference between the two of these, and the Snap-on costs twice as much. The Mega Pro on Amazon only costs $35, but I paid $71.50 for the Snap-on off of their website. And remember that both of these do carry a full lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects, 
So if you happen to run into a problem with either one of them, the manufacturers will fix or replace them free of charge. And lastly, you will want to take into account the country of origin. The Snap-on is made in the USA, and the Mega Pro ratcheting versions are made in Canada. Their non-ratcheting versions are made in the USA, so if you have a preference one way or another, you will want to keep that in mind. So, now you've seen a side-by-side -side comparison with the Snap-on $71.50 ratcheting screwdriver versus the Mega Pro $35 version. Now remember, this is the automotive ratcheting screwdriver, and that means that it's going to have standard quarter-inch bits. If you get the standard ratcheting version, it's going to have a double-ended bit that is not a standard version, meaning you can't use other bits with it. It costs a little bit more for the automotive version, but that's definitely the one you want to go with if you ever want to change these out, and you don't want to have to buy bits directly from Mega Pro. Now, personally, I think that $71.50 for the Snap-on screwdriver is way too much money, especially when we're getting pretty much the exact same performance out of this at only half the price. I'd like to know what you think. Leave a comment below this video and tell me which one of these you think is a better deal. Or if you know of other ratcheting screwdrivers that are even better than these, tell people what those are so as they're researching, they're going to have the best information. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.